Hello and welcome to the first episode of Faux News. I'm your host, Charlie Waldner, and I'm happy to have you join our show. If you have not seen this program before, you are not alone. Our crack news team has estimated that over 9 billion people have not yet seen our show. Suffice it to say, now that you are watching this, you are either special or out of touch with the rest of the planet. Without further ado, let's dive right into our first segment. Recently, we've been hearing about the French and their travel helmets. Here at Phone News, we like to understand the background of our topics before we make any judgments. So let's learn more about them. France was founded by the American Francis Ford Coppola in the early 1700s in order to make the name for a side dish for what we today call fries. France is known for many things including the rendezvous, the faux pas, and cul-de-sac, as well as the hors d'oeuvres. When Francis laid claim to the new land, he apparently experienced a dramatic mustard encounter, which proved to be overwhelming. In his mental state of confusion, he created a new temporary language based on bodily functions. For example, when you go wee oui, wee oui in French, it means yes. This fact led to the great European scandal, which we still reference when talking about non-traditional countries in a distant land. Today there are native tribes of people called Frenchies who live in the region. You can smell but do not touch them. It is a little known fact that they plant their own meat and are carnivorous vegetarians. Over time, this has caused their species to look more like broccoli based on the you are what you eat principle. In our next segment, we illustrate some serious issues that normal people encounter in our daily life. Please be aware that some of these situations can be very stressful and that parental guidance is advised. How can I go to the gym if my friends keep texting me? Stupid YouTube keeps buffering, making the video pause while I'm watching it. I'm not going all the way out there to play. They'll have ice chests or towels. The clay courts are too dry and I have to bring my own water. Pfft, they should come play here at the club. We end tonight's program with an issue that can plague us all, traffic. We've all been there, going down the interstate and all of a sudden there are a mass of cars in front of you going five miles an hour. It is a nuisance to say the least. Here at Phone News, we have taken some time to understand the cause of this menace to free flowing motor going. It turns out that 100% of the time, the cause is due to a couple of motorists who drive at a snail's pace right next to each other and will not let anyone pass. In our standard newsly fashion, we found one of these rebels and we have her on the phone. Hello, Gladys. Thank you for joining us here on Phone News. Are you the young fella I was talking to about unconditional bathrooms? No, Gladys. I was talking to you about your role in facilitating narrow band variance levels among localized traffic patterns. If you recall, we talked for a bit about driving on the highways. I remember you. You were the cute little girl with red hair and eye makeup on her cheeks. No, Gladys. Remember we talked about 40 minutes ago? We were talking about your role in traffic congestion? Oh, now I remember you. You were the one who liked fun doing the shower. And it was easy to clean up and it cooled down fast. 
No, no, that was not me either. Can I ask you some questions about your driving habits? And if you drop any food on the floor, you can clean it up with some soap and water. It'll be good as new. Right. So that wraps up this week's episode of Phone News. I hope you join us next time when we discuss semi-ambidextrous swines of Galoop. See you then.